day three. Welcome back to part two of this epic adventure. We've already been through two days, three states, 11 stores, and we've met two community members so far. But there's a lot more to come. I decided to start out my day by doing a little Skylanders hunting. This was once again a recommendation from another community member to check out Play It Games. We're off to a bit of a rough start this morning. Uh, not only is it raining for the first time in this trip, which I mean just makes travel that much more unpleasant, I guess, but I also went to my first location here, Play It Games, uh, and this location is closed. I mean, they're moving, I guess. It says that it, July 1st, maybe they're opening up, so I guess that's next week, um, but it doesn't help me out right now. So there are two other locations of this chain in town here. I might have time to check them out yet, so let's go see if we can find something good. Here we are for attempt number two this morning. Uh, Play It Games, I think this is their Polaris location. Once again, I really don't know much about this chain yet because the first location was closed. So let's hope we have better luck here and uh, maybe even find some Skylanders. Here we found three games. This includes a copy of Superchargers for the Xbox One, Spyro's Adventure for the PS3, and Trap Team for the PS3. I had a few more stops planned for the morning, but unfortunately, I was running a little bit late and my first meetup of the day was actually a little bit early. So I had to cut my plans short and head off to my first meetup. This first meetup was actually the reason I planned this trip in the first place. And unfortunately, I, I won't be able to show you everything that I got uh, firsthand here because most of it was loose, unboxed and has already made it into the shop and I believe most of it has already been sold at this point. So I'll show you what pictures I can of the things that arrived in this lot, but there were a few other things that came along with this lot, including some boxed figures. These box figures come in various conditions, but most of them will end up being sold at my whatnot auctions where you'll be able to see exactly what the condition of the product is before you place your bids. But there is a shield striker, at least partially boxed. Got a dive bomber and a sky slicer. There's a red drill sergeant that comes in a couple of pieces. A Tower of Time adventure pack. Not something you see every day. Was apparently being clearanced out for $2 at Walmart. The box is very taped up, but this is a clear water angel trap. And there are also two chaos traps. Both with their boxes, this one has definitely been taped up, uh, but this one seems to be holding on just fine, still intact. We've got a pair of light core hex figures. There's metallic green gill grunt, pumpkin eyebrow, two air angel creation crystals, two dark pyramid creation crystals, Eon's Elite Spyro, Eon's Elite Boomer, and an Eon's Elite Dino Rang. But besides all the loose figures and box figures, there were a few other odds and ends as well. We got another trap box. I believe this is the European version with the light and dark stickers attached. We also got a few books, like Master Eon's Official Guide to Spyro's Adventure. And this one does have the giant post poster still intact. Those of you who are fans of my whatnot shows know how hard that is to find. We got a Giants strategy guide and the collector's edition strategy guide for Swap Force. So this is the hardcover version. I almost forgot we got this Skylanders Spyro's Adventure starter pack for the Wii. And if you can see that little sticker there says that there's a volcanic vault included. And I did double check and sure enough, the Volcanic Vault is still inside this box. Um, I checked because the box was already open, so it's not sealed. But all the contents are still there, including the vault. But then to finish off this collection were some collectibles that I've never seen collected separately before. We have a bunch of empty Skylanders boxes. Now, some of these are just the starter packs. Many of them are the Imaginators boxes. Uh, 
and most of them have been flattened like this. So you don't have the innards, like the, the plastic insert that goes inside the box, but if you just want like the artwork or if you just want to unfold the box and set it on your shelf for a nice display piece, um, we, we got a bunch of boxes and we'll probably end up selling them on whatnot or somewhere like that um, in the near future. But they literally even used starter pack boxes to house other flattened boxes. So if I open this up here, you can kind of see, well, they're flat, so <laughs> you can't really see them that well. But there's a bunch of boxes in there. There's a chaos box and who else we got in there? Uh, Jingle Bell Chompy Mage, Barbella, Hood Sickle, Tri Tip, Ember, Ambush. Just the, the whole crew is in here, basically, it seems like. Um, so, yeah, a lot of flattened Imaginators boxes. But there are a few boxes that they didn't flatten, uh, like this Griffin Park Observatory box, and a few harder to find boxes, like this Cursed Tiki Temple, and this Lost Imaginite Mines. Now, the boxes themselves are a little bit beat up. They're not in the best condition. But if you are, if you have the loose figures and you're looking to try to kind of piece things together and complete the set, this may be for you. So, like I said, we'll offer these up for sale at some point in the near future. Keep an eye on those whatnot auctions. My original plan for the second half of this day was to, once again, hit some more game stories, hunt for Skylanders, but those plans are out the window. The night before, I got in contact with Adam, a longtime community member. He's a mod in the STL Discord right now, and I know he knows his Skylanders. So when he contacted me about having stuff to sell me, I was interested. Now the trouble was, Adam is currently in Virginia. I was in Ohio. And the next day, I was going to be in West Virginia making my pickup. So we had less than 24 hours to try to figure out a deal before I would be long gone on the road back home. So Adam was able to send over some pictures, which I could look at when I stopped for gas and food. But there really wasn't much time for us to negotiate. I was driving on the road, and Adam had to work. And we had to find a time within the next 24 hours to meet up. So as I was driving to my hotel the night before, I asked Adam to call me. And somehow, in the span of an hour-long phone call, Adam convinced me to spend thousands of dollars on Skylanders that I basically had just glanced at. Just met up with Adam. It started raining again. Um, this will be a fun drive home. But we got uh, more stuff in the back. And that's going to be exciting to go through. If it weren't downpouring right now, I'd probably pull some of it out and uh, show you. But we'll have to save that for a later date. So once again, there was a bunch of loose figures. So those are long gone by now. They've been through the shop. They've been processed. They've been sold. Especially because, as you can see in these pictures, there was a boatload of Skylanders Imaginators figures. So if you've bought Imaginators from the shop recently, you should probably thank Adam for that. But in addition to those Imaginators, there was also a few boxed figures as well as chase variants that Adam was looking to sell as well. And that stuff I have not sold yet, so I can show you right here. We got a Chaos Trophy and a Fire Screamer Trap, Sure Shot Shroom Boom and a Trailblazer, King Cobra Cadabra and a Rocky Roll, this is our second in-box Rocky Roll on this trip. There's a Mistletoe Dive Clops and a Fire Kraken, a Drobot and a Light Core Hex, Warnado and a Ruptor, a Wham Shell and a Polar Whirlwind, along with a Granite Crusher, and this Champions Combo Pack featuring Twin Blade Chop Chop, Ninja Stealth Elf, and Big Bang Trigger Happy. So that stuff's cool, but just wait. It's a lot better. We have this silver dino ring. It's loose, but I'm pretty sure it's legitimate. We also got this chrome spyro. It is unfortunately very well worn. 
I, I, I don't know how much it, the camera's going to be able to capture of this, but it has seen better days. So this is a figure that they, they got the chase early on, I'm sure. They just let the kids play with it. And so touching this for years and years, the, the chrome finish just kind of wears off. Um, you can kind of see the difference. Like the base is still fairly cr chrome plated, uh, but the, the figure itself, most of the finish has worn away. We have a Halloween Fright Rider. This was the uh, free-to-lay giveaway that year. We have a bronze Bone Bash Roller Brawl along with the bronze Tomb Buggy. There is a Patina Burn Cycle, Metallic Purple Lightning Rod. We have December, a gold and bronze Doomstone. One of my favorite chase variants, Stone Whirlwind. Personally, I prefer Stone Zook, but the stone finish in general, I love that texture. And one last piece we got from Adam, this beautiful new inbox life yawn trap. You don't see these every day. The traps themselves are hard enough to find. I don't know the last time I saw one in box. So we definitely spent a lot of money there. So we'll have to get some of these listed up for auction soon and see if we can make some of that money back. Since I had to drive an extra two and a half hours into West Virginia to make this pickup, that meant, once again, my plans for the evening were basically shot. I had an extra now two and a half hours out of West Virginia uh, to get to my hotel for the evening because I had to make it all the way to Kentucky. Here we are on day four. We have our two biggest pickups in the rear view. You see them back there? But now it's time to keep moving forward. And I'm going to try something a little bit different today. I have nine stores on my list today that span across three different states, and we're going to try to hit them all. It's going to be tough, but I think if we keep to our schedule, we can get it done. So it is currently 9.51. I am sitting in the parking lot of my first store. It's a game exchange in Kentucky, uh, Lexington, Kentucky, I believe, and the store opens at 10 o'clock this morning. So I'm doing well so far, a little bit ahead of schedule, you could say, and uh, now we just need to wait for this store to open and we can get our day started. Here we just got three games, two copies of Spyro's Adventure for the Wii and one copy of Spyro's Adventure for the PS3. I had originally found four games at this location, but they couldn't find one of the games when I went to check out. Not sure what's up with that. I made it on to location number two, another game exchange, also in Lexington, Kentucky. We got a few of them here. Uh, it is now 1037 and uh, we're going to keep moving. this location, we found 11 games. Another copy of Spire's Adventure for the Wii, Giants for the Wii U, Swap Force for the Wii U, and two copies of Trap Team for the Wii U. Stocked up with three copies of Spire's Adventure for the PS3, and three copies of Swap Force for the 360. Once again though here, I had 12 games picked out when I went to the register, but again, they couldn't find one of the games. I, I don't understand this system and how this works, but Game Exchange 
has this problem apparently of losing games somehow or misplacing or I, I, I don't know what's going on exactly. But Disc Replay, their system with numbering the games and the cases and it makes it a lot easier to find the games I found. I've had to wait a lot longer at Game Exchange for them to find the games, especially if I have a large stack of them. Then just not having all the games that are out on the shelf either. It's kind of weird. So after a quick lunch break and a little bit of a longer drive, we're back at it. Uh, another game exchange location, but this time in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, it is 1241, and this is our third, or uh, if you count our bonus stop, I guess fourth, but we're not going to count that because we had nine originally on the list for the challenge, and that's, that's what we're going to stick with. So number three out of nine, and I mean... All of these locations, all nine locations today, I have never been to before. So this is completely new territory for me. And uh, we're gonna add the research. This stop resulted in the first figures of the day. So we got a thump back and a series two zap. But then of course we got some games. Got another copy of Spire's Adventure for the Wii. You can see that game exchange has these very reasonably priced that I've been picking them up basically everywhere I go. Trap Team for the Wii U, Giants for the 360, two copies of Swap Force for the 360, two copies of Superchargers for the 360, and one copy of Superchargers for the Xbox One. And now I must make my obligatory, if you're wondering why I'm buying so many copies of these games, it's because they're not for me. I'm not currently shopping for my collection. I'm shopping to help you complete your collection. So if you see something in these videos, there's a good chance that either it has been in the shop, it will be in the shop, or it is currently listed in the shop. So you should go check out scocollectibles.com. Made it to location number four, and once again, it is another game exchange in the Louisville area. Uh, don't worry, we're almost done with game exchange, but we got we got a few of them here in Kentucky. So we'll, we'll hit this one up. I think we have one more game exchange, and then we'll be on to some other stuff as well as some other states. As I promised you, we're hitting three states today. So let's get going. At this location, we found one figure to pick up, a little Nightmare Express, and then some more games. We got two copies of Giants for the PS3, two copies of Swap Force for the PS3, and one copy of Trap Team for the PS3. I would also like to note, it, while it seems like I'm buying a lot of games, at all of these stores, there are more games left on the shelf. I did not buy them all, so if you are in the area, feel free to stop by. There are still probably be Skylanders games on the shelf waiting for you. Here we are at location number five. This is our final stop in Kentucky for today and our final stop at Game Exchange. But it is one more Game Exchange before we head across the border and uh, find out what Indiana has to offer. This next stop had the best figure selection by far. Here we found a wind-up and a deep dive Gil Grunt, dark food fight with a dark snapshot, a gusto and a blaster mind, and even a mirror of mystery. But what was really weird about this location is that the 
employee only charged me for two out of the seven figures. And he told me that he was doing this as I was checking out. And he's like, yeah, only two of them have price tags on them. So I'm just going to charge you for those two. And I just thought that was the strangest thing. I'm like, if anything, I would say, okay, these are all marked at like $299. So we'll charge you $299 for each of them or something like that. But to just give away figures seemed really weird. So that was cool. Once again, though, I, I would not say don't expect that. Don't ask for that if you go into the shop. But sometimes you experience weird things when you're hunting for Skylanders. In addition to the figures, though, we did find a few games. There's Spyro's Adventure for the PS3, Giants for the PS3, and Superchargers for the PS3. And then we lucked out once again and found a portal, a uh, Imaginator's portal for the Xbox One. We've made it to Indiana. I'm here in Clarksville, Indiana to check out Peddler's Mall, uh, which through my research I learned Peddler's Mall, Gizmos Galleria, which I visited earlier on this trip, as well as Trader Bucks uh, are all owned by the same company. And there are multiple locations of them throughout Indiana, but they're all this kind of indoor flea market type of deal. So it'll take a little bit longer to explore, but hopefully we can find something good here. This particular location did have some Skylanders that I found in the showcases up front and they were fairly priced. I, I liked how this particular vendor had kind of bundled things together. And once again, it, it was it was a good find and there were good figures in there, but what's not just something I could purchase to resell in the shop. So those may still be there if you're in the area or maybe they've restocked by now, who knows? But I think it's definitely worth checking out. Just three minutes down the road, we are now at Hollywood Music, Movies and Games? Music and Games? Movies and Games? Something like that. We'll see what the sign says. Yeah, another recommendation from the community. So we'll check it out and see what we got. this location, I did find a few figures and trap masters nonetheless. So that was exciting. Found Bushwhack and Lobstar along with Thunderbolts, whose sword is intact, thankfully. Getting harder and harder to find this way. And I also found a copy of Imaginators for the PS4. I've made it to stop number eight here in Indiana. It's another Hollywood movies and games. And after the last stop, I'm excited to check this out again and see if we can uh, find some stuff here as well. Um, and you may be thinking now, it's only 4.10. You got plenty of time to do this. Well, the trick is I have about a four hour drive to my ninth and final location. So we got to hurry up here to make sure we can get over there before they close. Let's hope for the best. And they did have a lot of figures. They did even have imaginators. But these Imaginators were very, very overpriced in my opinion. And I have a feeling they'll probably be sitting on the shelf for a while. But you can go check it out, see if you're willing to pay those prices, or maybe if they're willing to negotiate. I actually didn't ask at this store. So I didn't pick anything up at this location, but they do definitely have Skylanders here. Well, this certainly did not go as planned. Uh, Google warned me ahead of time uh, when I input my final destination that it was going to be about 8.30 when I got there, but and I knew it closed at 8. But what I didn't account for was the time change. And so I actually arrived at 7.30 local time, perfect. Half an hour left to uh, get in the store, do a little look around, do some shopping, and uh, call it a day. But upon arriving, 
Um, the location I was going to, Vintage Stock, is in a mall here. And the parking lot was eerily empty. I mean, you can kind of see it behind me here. Like, there is... I mean, a few cars. I'm not sure what they're doing here, actually. But basically, empty parking lot for a mall that is still supposed to be open. So I drove up to the front doors, and there are printed black and white paper signs on the door. It says, Mall is closed due to a water main break. So they shut down the entire mall until they can restore the water. So, um, yeah. I guess it didn't really matter how fast or slow I got out here. There's no way I was getting to all nine locations today. So I, I think that means um, we're done for today. And I probably won't even be able to visit these in the morning like I'm staying in the area but if it's a water main break uh, who knows if they'll have water restored by tomorrow morning I'm guessing probably not so we'll see how it goes maybe I'll do a quick drive by in the morning and see if they're open but otherwise we'll just continue on our way and see what Skylanders we can find elsewhere so you can see it's been a very eventful two days here We've added another three states, 10 stores, and three more community members met. But our list is not complete, which means our journey is not complete, which means this video series is not complete. Stay tuned, because moving forward into part three, we find some items that I've never seen in stores before, some things that I haven't seen in stores since 2017, and I discover some stores that I've never even heard of before. So hopefully some of this information will help you out and I'll see you on the next one.